Well, 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 would you look at that? It is that time of the month again. We have the Dragon Ball Super Chapter 79 Rough Drafts, or storyboards as they like to call them over the Dragon Ball official website. And although we don't have exact translations for them right now, we can make some pretty good educated guesses as to what's actually happening in these seven pages. How's it going, everybody? Savvy Gita saying, what is good to all my Super Saiyan homies here to bring you all sorts of Dragon Ball content. If you enjoy the video, please consider hitting that thumbs up as it does greatly help the channel and video to grow tremendously. So with all that in mind, let's hop right into it and let's talk about this because if I'm being honest here, I'm really excited for th this. These panels look great. So first off, we have this uh, one right here that they're sort of featuring uh, and focusing on. Uh, obviously, I did as well in the thumbnail, and it really looks... This is truly, to me, the most Dragon Ball-y that Granola has ever looked. Like, it is the most like a Dragon Ball character he's ever looked, and it just looks phenomenal. So we see Elect kind of boasting about how uh, Gas is now the strongest in the universe, and that his plans are pretty much coming to fruition. And so we just have him boasting off to whoever this is over here, but it seems like that doesn't stick around for very, very long. Uh, and we can even see him get this little look of disgust on his face, being like, why isn't the battle over just yet? Uh, we then cut over to a shot of Mackie and Oil trying to take out Manito, and as he's about to do, or as they are about to do all that, we see Vegeta giving Granola the Senzu Bean, who seems to be fairly impressed with the results of uh, the Senzu Bean, as most people tend to be the first time they eat one. And then Vegeta says to him, we should put it to good use, don't waste it. So we then see Granola fly off, and he comes straight in between Oil and Manito, and seems like he's then able to send Maki and Oil flying without even touching them. Like, he just seems to do that little, like, I don't know, I guess you want to call it, like, Force Palm, whatever you want to call it. We've seen this in Dragon Ball before, um, so I, I don't know, like a t telekinetic push. I don't really know what to call it, but it's cool to see it from Granola. Uh, and then we've got a little shot uh, to see that Gas and Goku are still fighting. And it seems that Gas has made some type of spear that is now holding up Goku by the shirt, which to me is honestly a really funny shot, even despite how terrifying it actually is. Uh, we can see that Gas is now, or sorry, Granola is now ready to take on Gas for another round, and Gas seems to be fairly confused how Granola retained all of his strength. We can then see that Granola picks up Oatmeal again and says something to him, probably along the lines of how he still needs his assistance, even though he's become super duper strong after all this time. And then, once again, we have the shot of Granola powering up with the eye surging and everything. Now we've got Oatmeal back in business. And once again, just the way this key charging looks, obviously the pose, the way the hair sticking up, it really does look the most he's ever looked as a Dragon Ball character. Um, I think one of the funny things that was said in Dado's little quiz for Sina uh, on Dragon Ball characters was that there are a lot of people that really don't feel like he looks like a Dragon Ball character. And we know that Toyotaro was going for a bit more of a steampunk aesthetic, but right here he still has that look of granola, obviously. He hasn't changed his appearance in any way, but just the way his hair is flowing, we've got the aura around him now and everything, he's really starting to look like a Dragon Ball character. Heck, even a Dragon Ball protagonist for that matter. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what this comes up with. And uh, truth be told, I still don't think he's going to be enough by himself. I still think we're going to end up having to get uh, Vegeta, Goku, and Granola working together to take down Gas in some way, shape, or form. Because quite frankly, I think they're absolutely nuts if they're going to show us Ultra Ego once and then that's it for the arc. And we never see it again. And instead, it's Granola who gets everything. Now, of course, I do love all the setup that Vegeta has done to sort of sway Granola and whatnot, but I would like to see them work together rather than Granola just take the W for himself. Uh, that's just me though. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you guys looking forward to Granola getting his vengeance? Or are you like me and you're hoping that Granola alongside the Saiyans will be able to work together to put down those that have oppressed them all this time? Anyway, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.